Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are gonna be working on a little bit different. We're gonna be working on marketing. We're gonna show you how to make posters using Canva.com. If you still haven't quite caught what Canva.com is, Canva.com allows you to be a graphic designer, whether it be for Instagram posts, Facebook, for t-shirts, posters, business cards, business letterheads, it can be something for your resumes, anything that you can imagine that you really want to put your creativity to mind, Canva.com gives you that ability. So don't stop, do take full advantage of that. And plus, Canva.com does give you 30 days for their pro features, and that gives you all of the chance to check out everything that Canva.com has to offer without paying a dime just yet. So do take advantage of that. If you haven't, you can find that down below in the description. While you're at it, click the bell, subscribe, and drop a comment and let us know what you like about Canva.com and how I can help you better yet understand this wonderful feature. All right, so getting right to it, we're going to create a template, and as I've said time, time again, it's probably old for you already, that I love to use templates. So I'm going to find the templates right here at the logo you see Canva, home and templates, we're gonna find them. So now it's marketing. No marketing is good without posters, flyers, infographics, brochures, newsletters, and proposals. This is what they have for as templates. Now, when you're doing this, don't worry, I'm gonna show you other videos in the future based on that as well. So that's why it's important to subscribe. Now, marketing, posters. When we click on this, it's gonna give us a list. Uh, you've probably caught it already too that you have the browse by category at the top horizontally and vertically with the filters so it's really going to pull all of them together. So you can do like illustrations and you can do simple, right, and so forth or even color. So you can really kind of pull them together here too. Uh, also gives you the chance to create a blank poster without using the template. So you can cho choose that, but you can also do this the same in my favorite way, is select a template and use a blank page below if you decide you, maybe you just want to start from scratch while you're actually in the process of changing the template. All right, so let's take a look here, right? So this is pretty cool, that's a pretty cool poster. Uh, a lot of shapes, you can see that the shapes, the boxes, right, the font changes, and a picture here. Uh, if you like it, hit the heart. If you want to share it with somebody, you can share. So just click share and you can share it with your friends, you can share it with teammates, etc. So whoever you like. So if you like it and you want to kind of come back uh, to it later and look at what else they have, but you want to save it so you don't lose it, do that and you can find it later. All right, uh, and you can do that in so here, view. All right, uh, now I'm going to exit out and you can come down and see, like oh, that's classroom rules, that's pretty cool, right? A lot of, a lot of, flammability to it because you have so many different things here in this picture hands uh, I want a little bit more mm, less uh, how can we say a little bit less special right so we can show you how to make it special uh, let's see the great rave right oh that looks pretty cool it looks actually really fun uh, so let's see online uh, da, 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 tour de France uh, let's see, we're just scrolling down, talk about drugs, Earth Day celebrations, right? Uh, exhibitions. And you can see how all of these, it's actually already done a lot, if you just like this. So there you go. Let's choose this. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Let's go with it. Customize. All right, let's say you are in school, you have a project, and your teacher's, again, like, ah, oh, wear your mask in class, uh, all do this, right? when you need to make a project or you're trying to get people to have like COVID awareness or any bacterial awareness, this is going to be it right here. All right, I'm gonna zoom in right here. You can see where I'm doing that. Uh, this little sidebar, you can do this bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can see a little bit better. Here we go. Now use your mask. Now, all right, now let's get to it. Now I'm gonna change a few things, keep up. Uh, I'm gonna double select here uh, and you can see that it's actually like a uh, actually it's a little different because here the bigger bar is typically going to be like your uh, heading for example and this is like your subheading so you can see that what they've done here uh, just because of size and of course you can change it around it doesn't matter uh, so let's go to the subheading use your now I double click so when I hit backspace it actually doesn't delete now you can see uh, now use your mask I'm gonna say wear your mask 
So just wear your, because I kind of like this design. And I'm going to exit out. Now this, you notice that how it actually makes it this oval kind of way. Let me show you how to do that. When you come and you select, for example, go to effects. When you come to effects and you can see like we can actually like make it neon, right? Pretty cool, right? So I can actually make it straight, like where you are, right here. So where you see shape, none and curve. It's always the same, none or curve, none or curve, right? And you can see it's just kind of moving it down, don't worry. Uh, now I'm going to come back to effects and I like the oval or the curve. And I'm just going to move this back up because it kind of fell down. And scrolling up and just click and dra drag. Now you can see they have sunglasses. I kind of, I really like this style, uh, but I want to change the sunglasses and the mask. And so we're going to do that. Uh, as well as I'm going to change the color of that font. So I'm going to highlight and I'm going to actually make it like bold, for example, right? Uh, and it, for example, it's really cool too because this one is one of them that we don't really speak about because if we're doing like business cards, it doesn't make quite enough sense to do any kind of animation. This one does because when you're doing a poster, you can actually make it exactly a Instagram post. You can make it exactly a Facebook post. However you want to use this same design, you can do that. Uh, so I would definitely recommend if making two different copies. Uh, use your mask here uh, before we go any further and before I explain why I'm going to change the name. So if I say um, <laughs> web, uh, web, wear your mask, uh, I'm going to change because when you save it, it's actually or save it or download it, uh, it's going to save underneath this name, right? Because if you decide to make it animated and you want to share it to your Facebook, you want to share it to your Instagram or your website even, if you want to embed that uh, to kind of use all of the obvious animations and stuff on that, uh, you want to change it. So web is telling me that I'm using it for the web. So we would actually save it in the future under like not PDF, but like something like MP4 video uh, when we're doing that. Uh, so. I'm going to make some animations today with you and so that way you can change that too and kind of show you again remind you if you haven't caught our other videos to, to be able to do that uh, so web and if when I'm getting ready to actually make one not only for the animations I'm going to change the name uh, to just wear your mask PDF for example and I'll just actually use like PDF print okay uh, and don't worry, you're probably thinking, uh, dude, you're talking about animations, how is that going to save? So when you choose an animation, the still frame of it will still be there, right? Uh, obviously, so like how you're looking at it now, because we haven't animated anything, this is how it will still look. Uh, but we're going to show you how to make it animated for your web. And so you're going to still be able to keep the same, like this is what it's going to look like for your PDF. And of course, obviously, it's going to have animations for your post or your website, etc., etc. All right, anyways, so I'm going to click on wear your mask and I'm going to change mask to uh, what I want to do is I want to change now for me how I like the font. I'm going to change the font just a little bit. Let's see, scrolling down because they have so many cool ones. Now, well, let's see. Ah, there we go. That's pretty far out. Okay. Now mask, right? Uh, I'm going to leave that the same, but I do want to change the color. I'm going to come here to the text color and let's see, like this, like this purple, for example, right? To put a little color into it. All right. Now you can see that these are sunglasses. You see, it's just different elements together that created the face. You see, uh, now I'm going to click the sunglasses and maybe you like them, maybe you don't, maybe you want to make them bigger uh, or not. Now I'm going to delete. And I'm going to come because I want to do all of my designing first before I do any animations for you. So I'm going to put sunglasses. There we go. And when we go here, this is just the templates, but I'm going to come to actually elements. So that's my mistake. Sunglasses. There we go. And the, the sunglasses. Now we have a list of them. Now we can like drag and drop these right it doesn't quite fit the style for me but I don't want that 
but you can see they have different options. Now, when we're talking about the elements, uh, some elements are already uh, animated. And so you can kind of already have that like this, for example, right? So that's already animated with something pretty cool. All right, so pretty neat, pretty cool, right? So you can kind of take advantage of that. Uh, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm going to scroll down and find one that fits me. Now, this is a pretty classic, especially with a lot of different uh, videos on like YouTube, for example. Here's what we used. See, oh, by the way, when you see Pro, obviously it's for the Pro uh, portion of the Pro feature. Uh, free is free, so without having to pay. So 30 days to design it, free already. And you can see that they have something pretty cool. Uh, these are pretty cool, too. You can drop, still don't like. And you can just drag over and kind of see. Of course, they may be a little bit bigger. Right, uh, let's see. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, see what they have. There's a picture or a video, actually, uh, for it. somebody wearing sunglasses. That's fine. Here we go. I like that one. A little bit different, and you can see there we have it. Now you can see that we have this one. The same for the mask. You can delete the mask, hit the X, and just type in mask. And mask, and now you see that we have some different ones, right? Uh, like this too. We can leave it like that. Uh, we can change. We can do something like this one, which is already there, right? Or this one. Right, and we can see. So I'm just going to scroll down and see what they have. Uh, that one's pretty cool. Uh, the same way. Now you can see it's black. You can change the color to this one. Not all of them you can change. Uh, so you need to kind of like check to see what ones you can change color to or not. Because they do, some of them you can, some of them you cannot. So uh, really choose wisely for that. All right, and let's see. I'm just going to click away just to continue to look and see the other mask. There's this one. All right, so you get the idea, right? All right, now, of course, we showed you how to change the font, right, for your safeties and others. Maybe you like this information. Uh, cough, uh, cover cough, social distance, whichever, right? Now, this is just a line. You can drag that line more and make it smaller or just delete. Uh, and you're going to find the lines, too, a little bit later. Uh, when you come to like elements, and hit the X, and when you come down to like lines and shapes, you can see that. And when you have that line, you can just rotate it and make it small too, the same way. And you can change the color of the line and even the endings and the thickness or dotted as well. So that's how these lines are created. All right, I'm going to remove that one. All right, so now we have it. All right, so this is it. And by the way, to create the blank page like I spoke before, uh, if you want to create your own, just kind of like using some kind of the ideas from this, you can. You can even actually just like drag some things down and drop them too, like this, uh, if you want to use some. So that's your, your, your choice here. All right, now uh, another thing that I want to go over too, I think it's really important, especially with designing, because it really makes it stand out. Uh, for example, when I move this mask over like this, you can see it's like standing over. If I don't want it that way, I can actually click on the sunglasses uh, or this. And when I right click on it, send backwards. And now it's going to actually send it behind this element. Or I can click on this element and send it forward and it will cover over. Right? And if you're going to move one, you notice it's like it just kind of moves. Uh, if you want them to move together, just, oh, my fault make this and select these and when you right click group them together that way they move together in tandem uh, so totally your choice all right uh, enough of that so the same you can see uh, that these are the when these uh, texts are together if you want to separate them right click and ungroup them and now you have them ungrouped do you see so now I can move just mask by itself and I can put it over right uh, whichever, but I like it grouped together because I like this text and how it's done. So I'm going to group. All right. So when I click on this, uh, I want to animate it. When I go to animation right beside effects, and now I can see like different things, right? With the typewriter, right? The same here when you double click on this side of it. And I can come to animate this one, like burst. I can select burst for this one where 
And then when I select this box, and then you can see that it's this one specifically, I can have it come together or bounce. And so you're going to be able to separate them. Right? So pan, and you can see that I'm making them. And it's moving over. Right? Do you see how that's done? Uh, the same. So I like that. The drift and the bounce over. Okay. Uh, now, what about the mask and the sunglasses? This is really cool. The same with the animation. Uh, there's one called Breathe, which I think it's cool because it just kind of like comes towards you. All right? Do you see how it's doing? Uh, so this works really cool. So I'm going to double select that one. And the same for the typings here. We can come to animations and we can do the thumbles. There we go. And we can do the cover cough. The same for rise. Social distance. Let's do rise for all of them. And now we have that. Now learn more this button that we can click. We can do pop. Let's see, check out the pop. And the reality website, we can do pan. And so we're actually changing all of them together. Now you see we have animated almost every aspect of this together. If you want to change the background color too, and you don't like the like, oh Brent, hey look, everything's cool what you did, uh, but I want to change the background color. We can just change that like this. I'm gonna make it like a little lighter, but it's really hard for some of the colors. So you can change it to whatever you want. You can even like leave it black, even if you want. Uh, I'll leave black for now. Now when I select on this, I'm gonna change the color from white to maybe like mask the same. I'm gonna change all the font to the same color. Uh, just for me. And here I'm going to change this color to fit the mask and some pink. And let's say like this. Just to kind of like change the color out. Uh, yeah, now wear your mask when you come to like the effects. We have the neon. We can even add a glitch to it or not. Or the neon. And I can make it really intense. Right with the neon color. The same, if I want to actually put the neon and the mask, I can the same way. So now we have all of that. And you can change all of this to neon too. Let's select on that. And when I come to effects, I can make it all of the writing neon color. A neon, neon, right? And you can do all of these the same way. And this is what's cool too about the templates because if you like this and you want to change it a little bit, you can. Uh, all right, what else? Let's see. That's about it. So we've done all of it. If you want to make it transparent, you can as well. The transparency, that's for the sunglasses. So if you're using like a green screen, that will help too. All right, and that is it. That is our uh, poster for our business for mask. Uh, I'm going to delete this one because I didn't use it. And of course, you will like you can share it with friends, right? And when you click this, of course, share the link, present it, Facebook here. So your personal, the group, Instagram business, Facebook page, email, Twitter, uh, etc. You can even print it. Uh, when you hit print, post print posters, uh, you can actually choose like A2, A3, right? Like you can see. And one copy, 1250, and you can come down and pay for them to print it yourself. Uh, or if you don't want to have Canva print it for you and send it to you, you can actually download it yourself the same as I explained. So if I want to use it for the web, which we were talking about, I'm going to change it to MP4 video, MP4 video, and I can change it and share it to my Facebook for et cetera, et cetera. And now once I download it, I can come back here and delete this and just put PDF. And when I do so, now when I download, I can change that, well, how I'm downloading it to PDF print, the same. Now heads up, videos, audio, and animations won't play when exported at this file type. Try downloading it as a video MP4, so it gives you the warning, right? So that's how you're going to do it. There you go, you've created a poster, not only for something you can print, but something you can share on the web that has animations. All right guys, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you think, and I will see you next time, goodbye.